Art is, to me, it's, it's like an addiction. To understand different ways of viewing the world is amazing. Something that I, I love is that artists say that it's okay to think this way, or this is how somebody else can operate. You know, and every artist is so different that it just kind of opens up like these different worlds of possibilities. Originally, I studied film and animation, and then when I went to get my graduate degree, I started kind of thinking about film as a system. And it became interesting to me that film and TV is just light, it's a light system. So I thought instead of using that system, maybe I can create my own systems to control and manipulate light. The inspiration is coming from like who I'm talking to, what I'm experiencing at the time, but I'm trying to like understand also like what I'm feeling and seeing if that could be communicated through technology. I mean, I'm using technology, but I'm trying to also like express something that's like emotional or human with it. My approach to this piece and a lot of the work that I'm doing is, is almost like film, you know? I want people to look at something and then try to imagine themselves in this kind of filmic setting. It's open-ended. I'm using technology to create something very specific, but at the same time, it's allowing them to kind of daydream or to think about things, to become introspective. So it's something that's very specifically like executed, but at the same time, it's it's open to kind of personal experience. I'm using media and technology like a tool set. It's like a painter using different types of paints or different types of brushes. I think what's interesting to me is kind of understanding how media and technology work, what its effects are in terms of perception. The commission uh, with Julius Baer for Art Dubai 2022 is Cloud Seed, which is a large scale installation at the entrance of the art fair. It's this very large kind of panoramic LED installation where people walking through the hallway can look and see themselves kind of immersed in this simulation of, uh, of rain and wind and fog. And it kind of manipulates the live video feed to kind of overlap real space with a virtual space. People are starting to use different materials or use things that are, are purely digital. I think in the last couple of years with like the pandemic, we shifted things online and the idea of like materiality has become like a question, you know? What is real doesn't necessarily have to have ma physical material uh, weight to it. It can just exist like on the screen or digitally. It's amazing that Art Dubai now has a digital section where the modern art used to be. So it's just kind of complete flip between modern art and then in the past into now this kind of future of digital art. I'm, I'm curious, I'm like fascinated by it.